Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa. Well, we finally had some deaths. And they were kind of surprising, to be honest, and uh, I'm pretty sure that there was nothing I could have done about it, but yeah, it, it seemed pretty wild that this game would kill off probably the two main waifus right from the start. But hey, I guess that's how things be. In any case, we're about to try and uh, move forward and figure out what we're going to do because, well, apparently we've got to have some kind of trial to figure out who the killer is. And if we get it wrong, we all going to die. Let's go. <sighs> okay. Oh, poor Junko. I gently placed my hand on her lifeless body. Check the pulse. Yeah, she did. She was gone. I don't know why you'd even bother to check after those injuries. I mean, like, yeah, her surviving would be way more shocking. What? Uh, yeah, it's not a joke. Let me out of here. Oh my lord, this guy. What's your problem? Okay. Well, I guess we start talking to people. What the I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. She's right. Could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Oh my goodness. You really think I did it? Like, seriously? Yes. I killed her in my own room because that makes so much sense. <laughs> what the heck? Just tell us the truth. Yeah. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Uh If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. But if we get it wrong, yeah. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Agreed. Try. Yes, of course we're gonna figure out who did it. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice, or else we're all dead. Yep. Before we start searching for a killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy evidence, we're pretty much hey. screwed. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll let Mondo look after the scene. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we should leave him there alone. Stop talking. Yeah. Exactly. You can destroy all the evidence. So then. There you go, Sakura. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. But... Still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. So Are we all done talking? No need to begin our invest. We need to begin our investigation. Get to the bottom of killed it. Okay. Collect clues. Yeah. So. No, we're all toast Goodbye. if we don't get it right. Goodbye. Yo. Uh. Mm. Hey, damn it! Say this right now. If whatever is here right now, they're thinking of destroying they're evidence. Dead. I'll skip the trial and cave their skeleton. <laughs> All right. Uh, we really know. You don't well, like listen. You don't know anything. Man, that chick is so high strung. How has she not had a heart attack at this point? Yeah, let's check. Let's see. I'm not good with blood. Baloney, there's a sh crap ton of blood right behind you. You're fine. 
and I black out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, did no one? Uh, does everyone really think I'm the killer? Well, of course they do. Yeah, well, you know. Execution is execution. Yeah. Yeah. I know, Monokuma, you don't gotta say it again. Who really killed Sayaka? Okay, let's figure it out. Okay, the victim was Sayaka Maizono. Time of death is around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. Cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. Yeah. Well, okay, so let's go. Okay, truth bullets. Oh my god, dude. You're gonna be useless, aren't you? <laughs> Hiro doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. Yeah, no kidding. What about you? Aren't you going to help? Um... Can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's leave the gym. Can I just, like, go to my map in here? Like, I should go probably investigate my room, right? I guess I have to exit first. Yeah, let's go. Headed to my room, yep. Oh, cool, okay, I just I absolutely went there myself to buy. Okay, so, let's go. Okay, scratches and gouges on the walls of bed. Evidence of a struggle? Yeah, some kind of a fight. If only I'd heard something. All our rooms are completely soundproof. Right, right. Okay, truth bullets. All right. The replica sword. Does it mean it's used in the attack? Plus, taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised coated in gold. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. The handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. It sticks to you even if you just touch it a bit. Okay. Key on the ground. My name on it. Right? My room need key. We had to trade keys. Yeah. So she would have had the key in my room the entire time. So if that's true, how'd the killer get into the room in the first place? Who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Else grabbed it? No, because why would they have left it? Uh, or she used it to defend herself. It's just the sheath, but, huh? Some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. So sheath it. Hmm. Oof, 
so much stuff to look at. Okay, camera. Alright, my bed. Our gouge is in the bed like someone attacked it. Notepad's still here, but don't think it's relevant. Toolkit's still inside the drawer. I haven't had any reason to open it. Yo. Oh. What? I ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either? What? Not just me, nobody's what? busted theirs out yet. As far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause like, why the hell would we? Hmm. Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Oh. There's scratches. Okay, so it's just same thing. Well. Okay, Kyoko, what's up? But, but. What are hmm. you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. <laughs> Not really. Girl, if it was obvious, I wouldn't have asked. I'm searching. Searching. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every Did inch of my room. Or something? Oh, she's... I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood up Listen. straight and said, Are you a clean freak? No. <laughs> Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What? Hey. There's something very unusual about your room. What? Reaction! What do you mean? So... Searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you. Even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around. Yeah, the lint roller. Could someone have used it to... See. Uh, your room didn't have a single hair and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well, That's the question. Hmm. Alright. Well. Yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, I know. Can't let it get to me. Can't afford to freeze up now. Yep. She'd lost everything that made her, her. Dizziness. I can't, I can't hesitate now. Why'd she have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Okay, so just three things. So what's... The water for the showers gets turned off at night time. Bob, but now's not the time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Sharp object. Yeah. That's definitely, yep. Yeah. Also, according to Saika's right, wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. Well, that's probably from the replica sword, so... Huh. There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? The 
stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Okay, what's this? To the wall behind her, and there I saw... Written in blood with the numbers... Those aren't numbers, dude! That literally says Leon. I can see that, like, right from here. Like, come on. Bruh. Like, can you see? You can even see the faint smudge between, like, the... The end there. It's totally Leon. Did Sayaka do this? Okay, well, those are the three things to look at. It would seem... The bloody numbers. It's her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life right. itself. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea. So... Dude. Body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Well... So, her left finger, she's against the wall, her left finger on her left side, right, she'd be looking down like so, it would be upside down, so it's totally Leon. Makoto. Otherwise, the case will end. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obviously you're not going to tell me. Okay. I should talk to you. Ask them the ultimate Makoto. programmer. How the door to your bathroom got broken. What? Yeah. The door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked, but once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, but actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. That's right. Close the bathroom, I'll show you see what I'm talking about right away. Oh, indeed, the doorknob is busted. Doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... We used to use the screwdriver. Oh, you mean like... Like our actual stuff, yeah. This is intentional. So... They were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently... Struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question Just at me. A second. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck. Yeah? Did you tell anyone about that? Yeah, no, only Sayaka. Mm -hmm. Smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. And that clears that up. What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Oh, okay. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay. And also, yeah, the DVD, okay. By the way. Realized something while I was on guard. Killer could have already destroyed evidence before anyone found the body. There's a trash room in the dorms, right? Oh yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. You're fucking dead. If I ever find the son of a bitch to do this, I'm gonna pound his face in. What if there was a girl? Yo. That'll all get sorted when the time comes. Do you hey. think I'm guilty? I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. Okay, well, I think that's enough for here. This 
is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. And this is Sayaka's room, but the nameplate... So when did the nameplates get changed? Huh. Okay, the DVD was in the trash can, if I remember. Yeah. Okay. Okay, nothing here. I like there's probably nothing here. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Hey, Leon, you murderer. Seems like... Something doesn't seem right. Said Sayaka was killed in your room. Just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Yeah, I already looked at the nameplate. I know. Mm -hmm. Say this. Suspicious. Okay, well... Whatever you say, dude, I'm going to the trash room anyway. You can say whatever you want, I'm going to the trash room. Hatch on the floor. Must be locked. But hey, look at me, I got a coin. Noise. Some kind of switch. Oh, I got a coin. Can I, can I press the switch? Uh, probably opens the door. No way to get past. It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? Yeah. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? Oh my god. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Stupid. No, no, you can't go any further. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so let's get out of here then. Oh, well, my guy just literally mentioned the trash room to me, so. Yo, dude, are you on cleaning duty? Hmm. Cleaning duty? Oh, it is you. I kind of figured. I mean, you literally mentioned the trash room to me like you had some control over it. I'd be filled with trash in no time. Okay, whatever. You can open the gate, right? Alright, so let's go. Okay, uh, eventually I'll be charged. Don't care. And only the person on cleaning duty has access? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important hey, than that. Bastard. Hey, fatty, why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh, um, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar, I know why you did it. it like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it. Oh, no my guy. In a common sense kind of way. My love is for 2D. You know what I mean. There's all kinds of trash niggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... Unforgivable. Wow. This thing is... Give me a this guy... Oh my god. Hmm. There's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash. Hey. If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm? 
that's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, yeah, on another topic then. Like, can we go to the trash room and just, like, figure some stuff out? Oh, this guy. Yeah, I just want to get in the trash room. Yeah, yes, please. He killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy leaving, living or get... Oh my god, okay, enough! Shot. This ain't the Shawshank Redemption, my guy. <laughs> Man. Like you're standing right here. Maybe a parallel. Where are you getting this? Oh my goodness. Like, come on. Something in ground, front on the ground in front of the incinerator. Okay, it looks like a burnt piece of something. Like, it looks like the sleeve of a shirt. That's what it looks like. Hunk of burning. Oh my god, this guy. This is, it looks like a piece of cloth and the shape, yeah, a sleeve from a button-up shirt. It's definitely blood, which means this is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there's lots of people here with white button-up shirts. It's not enough to figure it out. Okay, what the hell's this stuff? Shards of broken glass. Looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Do you know what it is? Hmm. If you collect all seven, a dragon will... Oh my god. Hmm. It's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Who did this particular ball? There's only one person it could be. Yeah. Okay, shattered crystal ball. Okay. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Someone turned the incinerator on? Quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Oh my god, dude, just think about what you're saying. <laughs> the fairy? No! <laughs> there can be no mistake, if I've got one thing going for me, it's my I memory. Feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key, it should be impossible. Someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. How's that possible? Okay. It's here last, yeah. And those glass shards of burnt clothes weren't. Why me, dude? That's it. I'm sure of it. Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Okay, whatever. Green button turns it on, the yellow turns it off, or so it seems anyway. Okay, I think I'm done here. Okay, map. Okay, that's the trash room. Right, I got the... Oh. Oh, where'd the knife come from? Right, the dining hall. I should go there. Dining hall. Mm. 
Yo, girl. What up? Oh, got a coin. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Taking a break. Great. I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps to keep me calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Oh, that's going to be important. Yep, look. Knife rack, there's one missing. There we go. Okay, there we go. Good. Anything else in here? Camera, who cares? Budgies. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't, yeah, let's go. I don't really know like how this works, whether there's like a massive time limit or... Okay, yeah. Yeah, totally. That's right. They were all lined up in a nice neat row. So when did you notice one had disappeared? I went to go get some tea, and all the knives were there. But when I finished my tea, I went back into the kitchen to watch my glass. One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you're drinking your tea? So so did somebody come in here and take it? Yo, what? You tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Um. Did you really kill Sai? What? You know, do you really think I murdered her? I'm supposed to be friends, but you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. Oh my lord. Girl. Okay, whatever. Thanks for nothing. Let's get out of here. Map. Okay, I got the DVD, so I better go there and watch that. Okay, yep. Let's go. And it looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friends she said had been so important to her. Positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girls pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... But then... Oh. Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight for Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What, oh what, could have caused the group to go to pieces? Huh. That warning, the video cut off. That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? 
Nothing inside the box. Probably done with that. Okay. Oh, but hey, I got a coin. Cool. Okay, um... Where am I going here? Okay, I've been there. Okay, I've looked in the trash room. I've looked in her room. Oh yeah, right. I was going to go talk to him. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> Snap out of it! Uh, um... What are you doing here? What? Does this look familiar? Oh, uh, it's clearly his. That's my crystal ball. It's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how'd it break? What? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? Yes. Yes, he did. He said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Yes. Let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt this belonged to you? Um, it's mine for sure. Probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Um, sure. I'm almost afraid to... How much did you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I saved up for fortune telling for two full years came out to be like a million? Uh, um, uh, I can't even feel bad for him. Uh, um, so, uh... I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay, and that's where we will leave it for today. So I guess we're going to do our first trial and see how that works. I, I really don't know how any of this is going to go down, but uh, I am confident that Leon is the killer based just on like what was written on the wall there. I mean, man, I can't believe that he hasn't seen that for what it so obviously is, but... Oh well, in any case, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Till then, bye bye for now.